Spider-Man, The Quest for Ice Cream, One Hot Summer Afternoon, Spider-Man was swinging through the streets of New York City. He had just finished stopping a bank robbery and saving a kitten stuck in a tree. As he swung from building to building, his stomach growled loudly. Ugh, I'm starving. Spider-Man muttered to himself. I could really go for some ice cream. He looked around, hoping to spot an ice cream truck, but there was none in sight. Where could they be? It's a perfect day for ice cream. He thought, Spider-Man landed on a rooftop to think. I know. I'll check out the park. There's always an ice cream truck near the fountain. So, with a new plan in mind, Spider-Man launched himself into the air and started swinging towards Central Park. The sun was shining, and kids were playing in the park, having fun. As he landed on the ground, he scanned the area. No ice cream truck in sight, that's strange, Spider-Man thought, scratching his head. This is the spot. There's always ice cream here. Suddenly, a little girl running by stopped and looked up at him. Excuse me, Spider-Man, she said with a frown. The ice cream truck disappeared. It was here a second ago, but now it's gone. Spider-Man's eyes widened. That's a mystery I can solve. He said, excited. Don't worry, I'll find it. He quickly started asking people around the park if they had seen the truck. I think I saw it go down Maple Street, one person said. I heard it making a funny sound, another added, Spider-Man nodded. Thank you. Maple Street, here I come. He darted down the street, using his spidey senses to guide him. As he swung past the tall buildings in between narrow alleyways, he suddenly heard the familiar sound of a bell ringing. Ding ding. He looked down and saw the ice cream truck slowly turning a corner. There it was. But something was strange. The ice cream truck wasn't just delivering treats, it was moving too fast. Spider-Man noticed that the truck had a trail of colorful sprinkles flying behind it like fireworks, that's no normal truck, Spider-Man said to himself. I need to investigate. He swung down and landed in front of the truck, blocking its path. The truck screeched to a stop, hey, what's going on here? Spider-Man asked, his hands on his hips, the door of the truck opened, and out stepped. Dr. Octopus, what are you doing here, Doc Ock? Spider-Man asked, raising an eyebrow, Dr. Octopus smirked. I thought I'd make a little twist on the ice cream business, Spider-Man. I'm using my new invention. The sprinkle cannon, to spread ice cream all over the city. No one will be able to resist it. Spider-Man shook his head. That's a crazy idea, document. But if you're trying to make everyone eat ice cream, I'll stop you. With a quick web-slinging move, Spider-Man launched a sticky web at Dr. Octopus's tentacles, tying them up. The sprinkle cannon fell to the ground with a thud, looks like your ice cream plans are melted, Doc. Spider-Man said with a grin, Dr. Octopus groaned. Foiled again. With the villain captured, Spider-Man finally got to enjoy his ice cream in peace. Ah, that's much better, he said, taking a big bite of his favorite chocolate chip cone, and so, Spider-Man's quest for ice cream ended in a sweet victory. Proving that sometimes, even heroes deserve a break. And a cone.